Hi everyone, Pixel Insane here. If you're new to the channel, please consider to subscribe and let's cut to the chase and watch this animation render that I made in Blender. Hope you enjoy it. All right, that's the animation rendering in Blender. Before we leave each other, uh, <laughs> I just want to show you a little breakdown of the animation rendering that I've done in Blender, so let's watch it. Here we have the studio light uh, animation render in from the viewport itself. There you go. And then we have the wireframe on uh, random colors, which I really like. It's really fancy, but I like it. And you can see here, uh, if I stop it for a second, you can see the, the water displaces, you know, the displacement. It's not actually displacement, it's a paint wave done with the brush. Um, I used a, a hidden uh, object to make that because with the mesh itself wasn't really working properly. The waves were not big enough so i figured to use a bigger object and then hide it from the render and um, yeah i really like it i really like the way it turned out i really really like it it took me four or five days to complete this thing obviously what you can see here um most of the things i downloaded them from sketchfab the the man of course you recognize it from mixamo and the animation itself and then i slowed down the animation to make it in slow motion obviously and then I downloaded the Stargate and this sci-fi corridor still from, um, from Sketchfab. And then we have the clay render. Yep. The clay render is just fancy. It looks nice just to see how the lights works. Talking about the other bit right here, the shader that I used uh, in Blender for this, um, I can actually show you. Here we are in Blender 3.3 and this is the scene. As you can see, it's not that difficult at all. It's just a corridor, the walking man with the animation, with the glass shader. You can see my other videos about the... I'm obsessed with this character with this glass shader and this fancy lights. Uh, it still looks amazing. Well, let's open the shader editor by splitting the view right here, going in there, and shader editor, selecting the material itself, and then selecting the object itself and pressing slash, it will isolate it and, and that's pretty cool. So if I play it, you can see I got an animation on the math node right here. And then on the caustics, it's a different node right here. And it controls the animation right here. And the Voronoi texture right there. If I control shift, that's the animation. And if I go back and if I control shift this Musgrave texture, you can see the animation on this one. So that's pretty much what the shader is. It's pretty cool and I love it. So that's pretty much what it is to this project that took me four or five days. Um, I didn't want to make a tutorial because I think it's full of tutorials everywhere on the internet. But if you guys want, I'll be happy to. Just leave it in the comments below. Also, I didn't tackle the part where I put everything in After Effects and Premiere Pro to add glares, the rays, um, and other effects, because visual effects and after effects are amazing. Sorry for the uh, words games right there. But uh, before we leave, let's watch the animation again. I'm actually really, really, really happy uh, of the result that I achieved with this animation, especially the rendering, not much of the animation because I didn't do much. But nowadays we can cheat and download stuff that is pre-made for us. And it's not making us look uh, that we don't know what to do. It's just a matter of composition and creativity. Don't forget to check my free material library. The video is somewhere, uh, I guess, up in the cards uh, where you can download free materials. In exchange, I ask for a subscribe, a like, a comment, and then I can make the library bigger. Um, there is also a donate button on my website if you feel kind enough. And that's a wrap for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do consider to subscribe, like, and comment down below. It would really help the channel to grow a little bit more. And I'll catch you in the next one.